In this video, I want to go back and build out the first part of our project, and along the way we'll do things like talk about freeze frames and hold segments and certain specialty types of edits. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we do this, I do want to remind you that you can download and use the same practice media you see me using in these videos if you're following along and you want that hands-on experience. You can get the practice media from izzyvideo.com forward slash practice dash media. You can download it from my website. Okay. So here I am in the browser. I'm still in my video event. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the browser. And there's this clip here called Trinity Giggle Enter Frame. Let's take a look. I'm going to skim to the beginning and just hit the space bar to play it back. <laughs> and I'll stop the playback hitting the space bar. This is my daughter Trinity several years ago when she was much younger. And let's say that I want to take this video clip and have it be at the very beginning of the project. So I'm going to open my project with this clip. If I wanted to, I could just grab my playhead, move it to the beginning of the project, and then select the clip and do an insert edit, it just as I mentioned before in the previous video. So that would work, but I want to show you a couple alternatives here. I'm going to click on this little pop-up menu, and I'm going to switch over to a different type of editing mode called Video Only. In this mode, when I edit a video clip into my project, it's going to be the video only that goes into it. Let's take a look. So I'm going to select this clip and I'll choose to do an insert edit. So here we go, three, two, one. Let's take a look. I'm gonna move the playhead to the beginning, hit the space bar to play it back. Sure enough, there's no audio. And I'll stop the playback. So it's a strange thing without the audio for that clip. I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo the edit and I'm gonna to switch to the audio only mode. So I'll click here, go to audio only. Same thing, I'm gonna grab this clip with the playhead at the beginning. I'll click the insert button and here we go. Let's take a look. <laughs> and I'll stop the playback. So in this case, it's audio only. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that mode, and I'm going to switch back to all. I just wanted to demonstrate that you do have these other modes. So if you're going to be editing only the video portion of clips into your project, you could switch to video only mode. Anyway, I also want to turn off audio skimming. Right now, when I move the skimmer around, we're getting all this audio, and it's competing with my voice. Now, when I'm personally editing my own projects, I like to leave audio skimming on. But for videos like this, I like to turn it off. So I'm going to come over here to the audio skimming button, and I'll toggle it off. Now, when I move my mouse pointer, I'm getting video skimming, but no audio. That's much better. And now up to this point, we've been setting a lot of our ranges up here in the browser. We've been deciding what sections of the video clip we're going to use in our project. We've been making that decision in the browser, but can we also make that decision in the project itself? And the answer is yes, we can. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to drag this whole clip, the whole video clip down into my project. I'm going to insert it using the drag and drop method here at the very beginning. So now I have that whole clip inserted at the beginning and I'll move the playhead and I just want to take a look and see what frame I want to open with. So I'll hit the space bar to play this back and then I'll stop when I get pretty close to that frame. So here we go. I'll hit the space bar to stop playback and I'm going to use the left arrow on the keyboard to go back several frames because I want to get to the frame right before Trinity enters the frame. So right around here. And now you can see where the playhead is there are several frames before this frame. If I want this frame to be the first frame in the project, I need to get rid of these frames here before the playhead. So what I can do is something that's called trimming. I can trim this video clip. All I have to do is just position the mouse pointer over the edge of this video clip and the icon changes, letting me know I'm gonna be trimming the edge of this clip. So now I can just click and drag and drag it towards the playhead. And as I do that, you can see it kind of snaps right to the playhead's position. And if you don't have snapping turned on, then what you can do is click on this button here to toggle it on or off. Now I'll move the playhead to the beginning and hit the space bar to play it back. And I'm going to try to find a frame where I want to end the clip. So let's take a look. I'll hit the space bar. <laughs> and I'll stop the playback. So right around here, what I want to do is pick a frame. I'm going to use the left and right arrows on the keyboard. I want to pick a frame where it's pretty crisp, where there's not too much motion blur. And I think... I want to do a hold frame, maybe somewhere around here. Okay, so let's try that frame. If I want to trim the rest of this clip to that frame and have that be the last frame, then here's what I can do. I can just position my mouse pointer right next to the edit point, right over the edge of the clip here. And by the way, when I'm on this side of the edit point, you can see I'll be trimming the clip to the left of the edit point. When I'm on this side of the edit point, I'll be trimming the clip to the right of the edit point. So if I want to work on this clip, I need to position the mouse pointer right here and I'll just click and drag and I'm going to shrink this all the way down to where the playhead is. 
And now with the playhead right over the edit point, you can see it's showing me the first frame of the next clip. And I can tell it's the first frame because it has this little overlay in the viewer letting me know that's the first frame. But if I hit the left arrow on the keyboard to go back one frame, now I'm looking at the last frame of the previous clip and I can tell it's the last frame because it has this little indicator. Now if I want this to be a freeze frame, all I have to do is just make sure the clip is selected and make sure the playhead is right over that frame. And then I'm gonna come up here to the edit menu and then I'm gonna go all the way down to add freeze frame and let's add a freeze frame right here. So here we go on three, two, one. The freeze frame is inserted into the project. Let's take a look. I'm gonna move the skimmer to the beginning and hit the space bar to play it back so we can see the freeze frame in action. <laughs> and it's frozen for about four seconds and then the next clip. I am Trinity Hyman. And I'll Today stop the playback. Freeze frames are great. They're individual standalone clips. So I can click and drag on it like this and I could attach it somewhere else as a connected clip like that. Or I could drag it in between other clips to insert it in there in the storyline. I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo those edits there. Now I wanna take a voiceover and attach it to that freeze frame. So I'm gonna go to the audio event and then I'll find this clip called V01 and let's take a listen. I'll just hit the space bar to play this back. This is my daughter Trinity back when she was younger, and this is the story of her hair. And I'll stop the playback. This is a voiceover I recorded in advance for this project. And all I have to do is just click and drag to bring it down into my project. And I'm gonna drag it down so that it is an attached connected clip and it's attached to the freeze frame. And you can see it's trying to snap right to that edit point. Let's see if we like that timing. I'm gonna go ahead and just attach it right here. And then let's play it back. I'll skim and then hit the space bar. <laughs> This is my daughter Trinity. The timing of that is a little off because the edit point happens and then a moment later you can see in the waveform here there's a pause there before I start talking. So we need to adjust the timing of this. So all I'm going to do is just click and drag this to the left here a little bit. I want to try to get that waveform to happen right about where the edit point is. Let's take a look. <laughs> this is my daughter Trinity back when she was younger and this is the story of I like the timing of that. And by the way, if you want to get in closer in an area, you can zoom in on the timeline. So for example, I can hit command plus to zoom in on my timeline and I can hit command minus to zoom out and you can hit it more than once. So I zoomed out twice there and command plus, command plus zooms in a couple times. You can also use the zoom tool. So I could click here, go down to the zoom tool and then you can click to zoom in and you can option click to zoom out. I'll scroll over here a little bit and I can option click to zoom out again. And if you wanna zoom into a specific area, you can also just click and drag it to make this box here and then zoom into just that section only. I'll switch back to my select tool. And then I'm gonna come over to the timeline clip appearance menu. That's this button right here. If I click on that, I also see there's this slider here where I can adjust the zoom level of the timeline. So if I wanna be in pretty close, I can do this. And then I'll click here to get out of the menu. Let's take a look and listen. See if we like the timing of this. Here we go, I'll skim and hit the space bar. <laughs> this is my daughter Trinity back when she was younger and this is the story of her hair. She always I'm had Trinity long Hyman. hair. No so the part where I say she always had long hair, I want that to be a continuation of the freeze frame. So we need to extend the freeze frame. So trimming is when you remove frames from the edge of the video clip and extending is when you add frames to the edge of the video clip. So we're gonna make this clip longer, this freeze frame. I'm gonna start by positioning my playhead about to the point where the waveform ends in the voiceover, maybe right around there. You can see I'm looking at the waveform here and then the playhead is right after that. So now what I'll do is I'll just drag the edge of this clip. Now, because I wanna extend the duration of this clip, I'm just gonna click and drag here on the edge and I'm gonna extend it all the way to the playhead. It'll snap right there. Let's see if we like this timing. Here we go. Her hair. She always had long hair. I am Trinity Hyman. It was a little bit, a little bit off there. I'm gonna extend it another couple frames. So maybe what I'll do is I'll position the playhead there. I'll go right two or three frames. So one, two, three. And then I can just click and drag this right to the playhead. Let's take a look of her hair. She always had long hair. I am Trinity Hyman. I like that timing a little bit better. Now I wanna have another video clip during this gap here in my voiceover. There's this empty space here that I left for another video clip. So let's go to the video event again and I'm gonna scroll up to the top and there's this clip here called Baby Smile and I'm gonna get rid of the range by option clicking on it to get rid of the range and I'm gonna to skim to the beginning and play it back using the space bar. <laughs> 
and I'm going to stop the playback. I want to have it end right before you can kind of hear me laughing there in the background. So I'm going to hit the left arrow key, hold it down, and I'm going to find a position. There I am, right there. So maybe right around here. Something like that. I'm going to hit O on the keyboard to set an out point. Now, because I set an out point first, the in point is the very beginning of the clip, and that's fine. We can trim any parts of the clip that we don't need in the timeline. I want to insert this into my project, so I'll move the playhead to the edit point where I want to do the insert. I'll make sure this clip is selected, and then I could either hit W on the keyboard or click the insert button. I'll click the insert button. Let's see what we think of the timing. So I'll just skim through this. She always had long hair. Okay, not always. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have this part here where she suddenly grins. I want, to I want to freeze right around there, right at the same time I say, okay, not always. So if I position the playhead right here, you can see that that's where I say, okay, not always. And this frame would be a good one to freeze on. That's fine. So what I'll do is I'll select the clip. And this time, instead of creating a freeze frame, I'm going to create what's called a hold segment, which is similar, except it's not its own standalone clip. It's just part of the same clip that I'm already working on. So with the playhead there, I'm going to come up to the Retime pop-up menu. And this is where you can do things like slow motion. You can convert your clip to slow motion or fast motion. But I'm going to use a hold segment. You can see there's a new interface now. This green section is just regular speed. And this red-orange section is the held segment. And then it goes back to regular speed here. Let's take a look, see if we like the timing. I'll just hit the space bar here to play this back from the skimmer position. Always had long hair. Okay, not always. But once she could grow. Okay, so after I say, okay, not always, that's where I want the segment to end. Let's take a look. Okay, not always. So right around there, that's where I want the hold segment to end. So I'm gonna adjust the edge of the hold segment. I'm gonna click here and just drag it to the left about to where the playhead is, somewhere around there. And then I'll skim and play back. Okay, not always. But once she could... And now, if I want to delete this section, I've got a couple ways to do this. I could just trim it away. Another thing you can do sometimes is you can just click on this bar here, and that'll create a range. And when you have a range selected in your timeline, then you can just hit delete on the keyboard to delete those frames. So you're basically trimming a whole bunch of frames all at once. So I'll try that. I'll hit delete on the keyboard. Now let's play this back. I'll move the playhead and hit the space bar. Long hair. Okay, not always. But once she could... Did you hear that little pop there? I think there's an extra frame that we need to remove. So I'm going to hit Command Plus several times to get in there really close, like this. And if I get in really close, you can see, sure enough, there is an extra segment here, that little green area, and there's a little audio pop. I'm going to just click and drag this one frame, like that, to see if I can get rid of it. And then I'll hit Command Minus several times to zoom back out again. Sometimes you have to get in on a frame by frame level. And by the way, I should also mention when you hit Command Plus several times, when you see this gray box there, that lets you know where the frame is. So for example, if I click here to move the playhead and then I use the right arrow on the keyboard, I can go forward one frame, one frame, back one frame. So I'm moving just one frame at a time and you can see where the frame is in your project. I'm gonna hit Command Minus several times to zoom back out again. And I don't need the Retime Editor anymore, this interface. So I'm going to select the clip, come up to the Retime pop-up menu, click on it, go all the way down, and choose Hide Retime Editor. Let's see if we like this. I'm going to move the playhead and take a look. Here we go. I'll play it back. Her hair. She always had long hair. Okay, not always. But I'm once she could grow hair, she kept it. And I'll stop the playback. The beginning of the project is coming along nicely. I still want to add more footage and also I want to add music. So what we'll do is we'll talk about adding music and how we can use markers with music in the next video.